So last time, last time we did a derivation for the uh, force, the, the, the entropic force coming from a random coil, right? And so we found this, this relation that said that the, the, the force was uh, proportional to, to uh, well, the spring constant, right, is proportional to temperature, and it goes up as the uh, temperature increases. So Mr. Dave Hammond has uh, done some, uh, set up a nice uh, experiment to show us here. So he has two, two setups here. So he has a rubber band and a, and a metal spring, and he's going to uh, demonstrate this effect for us. Okay, so first uh, we'll do the, me the traditional metal spring, which is right here, and you can see that up on the split screen on the left uh, on the camera, and you'll see a little, little line on the board that you can watch uh, as I heat the spring up with this, this little hot air gun. Everybody see the change? So for the, uh, for the metal spring, right, we see the sort of the expected behavior, right, that as you heat up the metal, the, um, it, it softens, and, and therefore your, your uh, spring constant goes down. It so, probably expands the length. Well, expands right. So the, yeah, the the, the, yeah. the metal expands as well. So there's probably a more expansion, of, I would guess. Um, he's but, teaching. So. But in general, but in general, right? I mean, we don't see anything out of out of the ordinary in terms of you know the spring constant doesn't you know uh, it's not affected uh, tremendously. So now let's look at the. Um, okay, now we're over on the uh, the other setup. And this is a, a, a piece of rubber tubing. I'm not exactly sure what uh, type of rubber it's made out of. But uh, uh, in any case, and you can see that it's roughly aligned with the one inch mark on that ruler, the top of it. And I'm going to do the same thing, except this time, uh, to make it a little easier and more effective, I've, I've put a plastic tube around the strip of rubber, and I'm going to blow hot air up the tube. So that's pretty significant, right? I mean, it, it, it changes quite a bit. I mean, if we think about it from, you know, relative to the length of the, of the tube, right, it's a significant amount. So we've gone up about an inch there, right? So it's, a, it's, it's not just a, a, minor, a minor effect. And this is, pro I didn't weigh this, but this is about uh, 500 or 750 grams on there. So it's, it's a fairly significant weight. You get about an inch and a half out of it there. Yeah. Um, so one thing that that I wanted to mention from uh, from last time. So I mean, so 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 clearly, you know. So I mean, it's 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 interesting that we have you know the 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 random uh, random walker model that we use. You know, was fairly simple, and we're just considering the entropy, right? But it clearly makes it makes a big difference. So the one thing that I didn't mention last. So that, you know, we we had that discussion at the end about you know, why is it that, that the rubber band heats up when you stretch it, right? So the thing that we didn't consider was that when we, when we, um, when we stretch the rubber band, right, you're doing work on the system, right? You're adding energy, you're doing work on the system, right? So remember that the, uh, 
thermodynamics tells us that the change in internal energy is equal to whatever work that you're doing plus whatever heat that is added to the system. When we're doing work on the system, you're, you're increasing the internal energy, right? So that gets converted into heat, right? But the reason why the temperature goes up is because you are, uh, you are decreasing, the temp you're decreasing the entropy of the system by stretching it, right? So therefore, S is decreasing, but, you, but that, that work has to be changed, converted into, into heat, right? And so heat is equal to T times S, right? And so therefore, if the entropy is decreasing, the temperature has to go up. So it's not just an accumulation of, of energy, right? There is a proportional component of the fact that we are decreasing the entropy and therefore the temperature has to increase. Because we're basically taking, so you know, the, 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 as, as you stretch the polymer, right, you're going into an extended configuration, okay. right? And so that means that there are less configurations, less possible configurations that you have for the system.